Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we want to present you new powerful diode laser, 8.5 watt plus laser. And we are going to engrave on different surfaces. We'll start with engraving on dark anodized aluminum. Let me show you the settings of the software first. We use CNCC Laser X software and we create uh, a text 8.5 watt plus generated a g-code and the settings is speed is 50 let's start engraving do not forget to wear goggles while you do laser engraving because the light is very very bright this is very powerful unit and it consumes almost six amps actually about seven so we recommend you to use more powerful power supply when you run this laser so it's almost done we use g2 short focal lens for engraving because it's better for these applications so this is the result you can see the speed is 50 and we did engraving on anodized aluminum let's keep going next experiment we will engrave on a stone this is a uh, regular stone, uh, natural stone. We already installed it over there. The parameters will be the same. Speed is 50 and will engrave 8.5 watt. Uh, 8.5 watt. Look, it's melting, makes noise, and I can assure you that it's burning the stone really impressive now you can see how it appears really marvelous be very careful when you do this laser cutting and laser engraving because it generates a lot of heat and it requires a lot of power and keep in mind this is only 8.5 watt laser it's true power it can work continuously for more than 72 hours Comparing to a previous model of 8 watt laser, we significantly improved a PC board that allows laser to consume more power. Power. Okay, we get it. A little bit different parameters, but it looks also pretty good. Let's move forward. Another experiment that we're going to make is engraving on ceramics. We never did it before, so let's do it for the first time. This is the same image and we just change the speed a little bit to 25 so let's run the machine okay you can hear the noise of burned ceramics let's see how it looks like oh wow still too bright i cannot see it always forget uh, do not forget to wear goggles you can see it reflects light but still it's enough power to do engraving on a pure ceramics really really powerful guy and we recommend to use g2 lens and uh, it, it brings more power on a surface and don't forget that the focal lens uh, focal range for g2 lens is about from 2 to 10 millimeters only so you need to move your uh, your item as high as possible but not too high less than two millimeters it won't focus it takes a little bit more time because we reduced speed but it's gonna be fine so this is 8.5 watt laser really really powerful one look at this miracle looks awesome we made experiments before check out the speed i think the speed is good you can probably increase it a little bit but uh, yeah it's working let's move to the next surface next item will be a piece of brass so parameters would be following we plan to use 25 speed and three uh, passes oh no let's do it actually with one pass 
and the speed is 10. Okay, we installed our piece of brass on top. Checked focus. Please don't forget to check out focus. It's very, very important. Otherwise, you won't get result. And let's start. It reflects a lot of light and kind of uh, hard to get a focus. But it's going to be fine. We'll just take a couple of minutes of the process. Will not bother you with my comments. It just does its job. We tried it before with 8 watt laser and it didn't engrave properly. Now you'll see what 8.5 watt endurance laser can do. Like I said, it consumes about 7 amps and 12 volts, so you need about 10 amps and 12 volts power supply for this and make sure that your electronic board on your device is good enough to work with that power and also please check out the power uh, and the temperature of your power adapter so make sure that it does give enough power output okay let's remove this piece and let's enjoy the result as you can see 8.5 watt can be visibly seen really good thank you okay let's engrave on painted aluminum i know that you will, will laugh and say hey it's very easy but to make experiment clear let's do it the speed will be 250. laser engraving on painted aluminum is now very very easy let's see what we got there so it took less than a minute to engrave such thing on painted aluminum. Another example what you can do with 8.5 watt endurance laser. You can engrave on knife. Let me make another video footage showing how we can do this. So we need to put knife in this construction. Let's put it this way. Okay, and let's run an engraving process. Here is our G code. Parameters that we're going to use speed is 10, and I think two repeats would be enough. Let's run. Even reflecting light is too dangerous, so be careful and stay safe. Don't watch even with goggles while it does engraving. Okay, it's ready. Probably we need to play up with the parameters, but that's for sure you can engrave on stainless steel with 8.5 watt laser and try it and the, and the final thing I want to show you how to engrave on pure stainless steel never ever did that before without special paste without special chemicals as you can see this was done using chemicals and these are places where we made our, started our experiment okay let me show you how to engrave on pure metal and we're going to set up speed about 10 and amount of passes probably like two or three let's run this process will take a little bit of time but remember this is a pure stainless steel no one did that before on diode solid state lasers with that power output we do the first okay now you see the result the engraving on stainless steel was done using 8.5 watt plus endurance laser. Enjoy it and have a wonderful engraving. Bye bye.